make the point in Know My Name that you don't have to be a flawless human being. Oh, no. Yeah. The perfect victim. In order to deserve to live. Yes. Yes. And the perfect victim does not exist. We're all thinking, oh, if I had just had been less drunk, or maybe if I was a virgin instead. It doesn't matter. The perfect victim does not exist. And we're trying to achieve some unachievable, unattainable thing. Yeah, that's what we've done. I was just going to say that we have done that all over the world for years. Yes. What was she wearing? Yes. Was she drinking? Yes. What did she say? What did you do? I mean, listen, my own father, when I went to him in my 40s to finally have the conversation about a relative who had raped me at 14, my father, my own father said, what did you do? What did you do? And I said, Dad, I was 14 and he was 42. It wouldn't have made a difference if I was walking buck naked in the house. I was 14, he was 42. Mm. He was the adult. So I think there needs to be a paradigm shift. This begins the shift. What do you think? Well, when you say you need to change your behavior, yeah. you're basically saying, you know, don't let yourself be the drunkest one. Let it happen to somebody else. You're saying, don't let it be you, just pass it on to someone else. So we're never going to reduce the number of rapes. That means all the rapes stay exactly the same. We just go through our life hoping, oh, I hope that's not me. Yeah. But it's still going to happen to everyone else. Yeah. So I'm not interested anymore in critiquing these little individual things. They are, these are not isolated incidents. Yeah. We're not going anywhere as long as we do that. Yeah. So I'm done with that way of thinking.